Hi, I want to update you on our online physics courses. So if you're taking Intro to Mechanics Part 1 right now, you may be wondering, is there going to be a Part 2? Well, there's, there's good news and bad news. The good news is, yes, there's going to be a Part 2. It's going to cover rotational motion, torque, angular acceleration, angular momentum, gravitation, and oscillations. Pretty much the standard topics you would see in the continuation of an Intro Mechanics course. The bad news is we haven't started yet. So we're starting next week and we're going to make it as fast as we can, but these courses take a while to make. I'm going to try to get it out before the summer, but it'll probably come out in summer of 2018. Now, if you need this information to go along with a class you're taking in the spring or right now, one option is our AP Physics 1 course on edX. So that covers a lot of that material, just not quite at as high a mathematical level, but, but that is there as an option. We'll get part two made as fast as we can. One thing we're going to add to our courses is these weekly or maybe bi-weekly or maybe monthly uh, videos to give you updates on how the courses are going. And they're also going to have a challenge problem. So this will be a calculation I will propose and we'll put an entry in the forum and it's kind of a contest and we'll see who can get the answer first. And if you're the first one to get the answer, you win bragging rights. Yes, very valuable bragging rights. Now, one thing you may not like about these problems, especially if you're sort of like a pre-med student, is uh, that they're not real clear. I'm not going to give you the formula you need, and there's not even a definitive answer. So these problems are more like a research problem where, you know, who knows, it's sort of exploratory. So uh, this first problem is about the flu shot. So just this past weekend, I took my boys to get their flu shot, and I did not get one because I'm afraid of needles. And the question is, you know, what happens in a flu shot? You inject the fluid, it goes through the needle. The question for this week is, what is the pressure difference between the front of the needle and the end of the needle in a typical flu shot? So you can see we're not all going to get the same answer. We're going to make different assumptions about what kind of needle, etc., etc. But you got to think about and do a little research on what equation do you need? How big is a flu shot needle? What gets injected? You get the idea. So post your answer in the forum of what you think the pressure difference is across the needle. Good luck.